extrude tricks. All right, I want to introduce two more commands here that you're going to be using just about all the time. All right, the first thing is if I extrude something, control E to extrude and then right click. A lot of times you'll see me do this. I'm going to scale out. Okay. And you can see this thickness that occurs to the mesh. And it turned out okay. It turned out okay because this was a ball. So let me undo this. Let me add some change to the mesh. By the way, I'm hitting Shift-Alt with faces turned on for this. And if I turn this feature off, I have a much better chance of success. Okay, well, here we go. Let's try that again. Let's hit Control-E and scale out. Not too bad, but if you look up here, the space between polygons here compared to here is a lot greater. Why? And you can see also down here. So this thickness right here is starting to bloom out at the ends. Well, this is because you're scaling towards the center from the center of the object and not its normals. So in order to scale across the normals, have the scale tool on first, hit control E to extrude, right click, and you could say a long normal. And then be very careful because any movement of the mouse will jettison this out. Now you can see it's got more of a unified look here all the way around, but then it kind of fails up here. Okay. Again, you're looking for damage control, however, so these last two polygons you can kind of just stretch out and it works out really well. So a nice even distribution of a thickness based upon extrude is what you're looking for, and that is along a normal. And a normal is just, it's a magical line that extends from the face, so any face like this one, would have its normal pointing this way. This one pointing this way, straight out from the face's direction. In this case, this one would be pointing this way. These are magical lines that don't show up right yet. Okay, so another thing that you're going to be using all the time is a new command. So let me go in here. I'm just going to select inverse. That's not the command. X faces. Okay, so now I have this wacky piece right here. This is a single walled mesh, and I want to turn it into a double walled mesh. Okay, I'm going to highlight all the faces. Hit the spacebar and type in solidify. Click on solidify. And automatically you see it added a little bit of thickness to the mesh. And over here, I can click and drag this. And you can see if I go this way with a negative, I'll go this way with a positive. Okay, there we go. A nice even distribution. And of course, you know, it fails when it has some kind of complex change, but at least in this case, I'm just grabbing a couple polygons and basically fixing that up. All right, so solidify and across normals. Two commands you're going to be using all the time. It may not seem relevant right now, 
but trust me when I say in the heat of battle, you're going to be using them a lot. Enjoy, and let's move on to the next video.